Hello, and in this video we'll be working on the bottom of our trammel base. So on the previous video we made the top portion, uh, in this video we're going to make the bottom portion of uh, this trammel base. So to do that, uh, we have one circular hole and then we have one, two, three, four hexagon holes. Uh, those four hexagons are all the same size. Uh, so we're going to go back to our trammel base that we've already started on. Uh, we want the bottom, so we're going to turn to the bottom of our object and I'm going to rotate it as I do this. Uh, rotate it so it sits upright uh, how we had it looking on the previous one. So we got it turned and we're looking at the bottom of this object. Uh, so I'm just going to start a sketch here on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to start by making my overall rectangle. So I'm just going to go from rectangle corner to rectangle corner. Uh, next, we're going to add in the circular hole. Uh, so if we look on our trammel base, the circle hole, uh, it comes underneath uh, this uh, rectangle cut-in. So we want to look in that rectangle cut-in, and then we can measure it. We saw on our measurements, uh, you can see it's not quite to the fourth, so it's going to be 0.37, and we're going to have three decimal places, so 0 0.370 we'll round to. Uh, so we'll make that hole, and we'll use that same center point uh, we previously did. So if I try to do a circle, and I try to go inside that circle, you can see it does a concentric where it goes in the center of that circle I already have. And then I click, and I just type in my 0.370 and enter. And that puts it right in the location and fully constrains it. Uh, next, we need our hexagon. So we have... Uh, if we go back, we have one, two, three, four, and you can kind of see where they go because it's the darker locations. So we don't see the wood base. Uh, so I'm going to start in this top one where it's directly next to that rectangle cutout. So I'm going to take a, a, a polygon tool, and I'm going to want this one to be uh, circumscribed because we measured from corner to corner. Uh, so I'm going to circumscribe, I'm going to go right here, make it concentric, you can see that constraint pop up, I click, uh, then I can click again, and it's already on 6, so I'm good there, so I'm going to click, and then I can use my dimension tool, and I can, I'm going to zoom in so you can see that circle, I'm going to click on that circle, and I'm going to set that value. To set the value, we'll come back and look, and we saw that the hexagon had a measurement of Pass 4, so 0 0.422 it looks like. So we're going to use 0 0.422 for our measurement on all of these hexagons. So 0 0.422 and enter. Uh, then it's not oriented correctly right now. Uh, if we look back at our orientation, uh, you can see that the top is parallel to the top of my uh, object here or my base plate. Uh, so I'm going to change to the parallel constraint and I'm just going to click that top line and then that blue line there. Uh, you can see it fully constrains my object there. Uh, then I'm going to repeat that same process for my other three holes as well. So I'm, you can take the same tool, I'm going to come down, make sure it's concentric, click to place it, make sure it's on six, uh, then use my dimension tool, uh, click on the circle, bring it out, set it as 0 0.422, and then again to a, a horizontal constraint or a parallel constraint. You could also use a horizontal constraint in this case, though. Uh, so that gives me my top two. Uh, then I'm going to come down and do these bottom two as well. So if we look on the bottom two, you can see the lower one next to the rectangle and then the one diagonal from there. So that's how we're going to add them in. Uh, so I'm going to do the lower one down next to my rectangle. Same process. Click on it. Make sure the concentric constraint pops up. Drag it out. We have six sides. Dimension. Make sure you click on the circle and give that a value of 0.422. Uh, do my parallel constraint and I'll select the bottom and the base of my uh, base plate. Uh, final one, same process. Come up, make sure you're concentric. Click at 6 to place. I use our constraint, set that value, click on the circle, set it as 0.422. And again, we do a parallel constraint. Click the blue. Click our base, and that gives us what we need. Uh, so I'm just going to hit my green check. Uh, then we're going to change our view a little bit up to uh, isometric so you can kind of see how it's uh, going to extrude. Uh, then we'll click extrude. 
In this case, I'm not going to click on the base plate because I have those other holes. And if I click on that, then I'm going to have to click inside those holes in order for it to extrude properly. So I'm just going to click where it says uh, Sketch 2. And then I'm going to change my depth. Uh, it was 0.24 last time, so it's going to be 0.24 for this other plate as well. Uh, hit Enter, and you can see it shortens it up. And I'll green check to accept. Uh, so now on the bottom, you can see it's just got those holes we wanted, the one circular hole and one, two, three, four hexagon holes. If we turn to the top, you can see some holes you can see all the way through. Other holes, it stops at that new plate we added in. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create uh, the trammel base plate. Uh, if you want to, you can change the part. You can name it the right part name. You can change what it looks like with the edit appearance. And we can even assign the right material to it. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Good luck.